Let's now subtract polynomials. Subtraction is similar to addition, where we're looking for like terms, but the big difference is that we have to keep track of all of our signs. So suppose we have 8x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x cubed minus 3x squared. Notice this negative and the parentheses. This means this negative needs to go all the way through. So we turn him to a positive. The positive becomes negative and the negative becomes positive. Now we're ready to combine like terms. 8x cubed plus a negative 2x cubed becomes 6x cubed. 2x squared plus a positive 3x squared becomes 5x squared. And I see students on occasion, they only apply that negative to the first one. They don't change the sign of the second one. This is a wrong answer. 6x cubed minus x squared, because 2 minus 3x squared. 2x squared minus 3x squared is minus x squared. If you do this, you're going to get the problem wrong. You're not going to be able to move on. And on a test, you wouldn't get any points. As a second example, suppose we have 2m squared n squared plus 2m minus n minus a negative 2m squared n squared minus 2m minus n. Okay, so we're going to start again by recognizing this minus sign needs to go through, so he changes to a positive, a negative changes to a positive, a negative changes to a positive, and a negative changes to a positive. Now we look for our like terms, m squared, n squared. We have a positive 2 plus a positive 2 becomes 4m squared, n squared. 2m plus 2m becomes 4m, and minus n plus n adds to zero, goes away, and we're just left with this answer. If you accidentally ended up with 4m squared n squared minus 2n, then you forgot to take your minus sign through and only applied it to the first one. That's subtracting polynomials. Remember, distribute the negative through to the second one, then combine like terms as if it was an addition problem.